Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. Commercial Drone Alliance Attacks Section 336. FAI Drone Racing World Cup 2018 is coming soon. And Hubson launches new signature drone product, H501A+. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 195,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. There is yet another reason why your support and membership in AMA is so important. Part of the commercial drone industry has just attacked the rules under which we fly, and the fight could get rather intense as we go forward. But take our word for it, AMA is on it. CDA's rationale is pretty self-serving. Basic rules of the road are needed to manage all this new air traffic. That is why the Commercial Drone Alliance is calling on Congress to repeal Section 336 of the FAA Modernization and Reform Act of 2012 and include new language in the 2018 FAA Reauthorization Act to enable the FAA to regulate UAS and the national airspace in a common-sense way. The CDA also notes that an approach giving preferential treatment to hobbyists has clear adverse implications for the safety and efficiency of the national airspace system, public safety, and the efficacy of future unmanned aircraft systems, traffic management systems. For this new drone economy to truly take off for society's benefit, all UAS pilots need to abide by some low-cost rules of the road. More info to follow. In the next drone minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. The AMA Government Affairs Team has worked diligently with Congress to ensure our hobby is protected in FAA reauthorization legislation. On March 23rd, President Trump signed the Omnibus Spending Bill into law, funding the FAA through September 30th, 2018. This extension means the special rule for model aircraft will remain intact, and AMA members can continue to fly under AMA's set of community-based safety guidelines, as we have for many decades. Global content marketplace Pond5 and drone manufacturer DJI have launched an innovative collaboration to develop a premium collection of licensable aerial footage. By applying to join this program, pilots operating with a Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate issued by the FAA, which is required for commercial use, will be eligible to have their footage included in a series of collections shot exclusively with DJI drones. The City of Oceanside, California and San Diego County has approved the use of a drone killer by its police department. The device acquired by the city comes from IXI Technology. It was developed by the company using similar technology used by the U.S. military. City officials say that the device will not be used against hobby drones. Its use will be restricted to public safety and emergencies. Drone maker Parrot has entered into an agreement with Arvado SCM Solutions to provide logistics and fulfillment services from its Pleasant Prairie, Wisconsin facility. The company will handle distribution of Parrot drones in the U.S. and Canada. The Logan Rogersville Fire Department in Greene County, Missouri called on a private drone operator to assist in a search and rescue effort last week which led to the rescue of a driver who had been stranded during a flood. The pilot, Tom Baird, assisted the department to help locate the man who had driven onto a bridge crossing the flooded James River and was swept into the water. That was our Drone Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. The FAI Drone Racing World Cup 2018 is coming to a city near you soon. A massive 24 World Cup contest are already registered on the FAI calendar for this third edition of the FAI Drone Racing World Cup, up from 16 last year and 9 in 2016. That makes the World Cup the biggest drone racing series around and means lots more opportunities for both pilots and fans to enjoy the electrifying thrills of top-level drone racing. 
The first event will be the 2018 Indonesia Drone Racing World Cup, taking place in Bali on April 6-8. Prilip, in the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia, will be the venue for the final contest of the 2018 season, which will run on October 13-14. As in previous years, competitors will participate in a series of races, flying multi-rotor drones weighing no more than 2.2 pounds. The FAI Drone Racing World Cup is a unique event offering fun and excitement for competitors and spectators alike. It brings together drone racers from all over the world and gives them a platform from which to show off their considerable skills, while pitting their drones against other top flight pilots. With contests in 19 different countries ranging from China to Finland, Brazil to France and Russia to Australia, it also reflects the international popularity of drone sports. Hubson has launched a high-quality, affordable drone option, the H501A+. Hubson's H501A Plus model is the company's newest signature product and is available starting at $199. Hubson offers a complete line of drones, including FPV, quadcopters, and racing drone versions for the drone enthusiast market, sold directly through its website. The Hubson's H501A Plus model includes many key features and benefits. It contains both a high-quality video camera and photo features, 1080p camera resolution, a controller that enables drone pilots to fly with either Wi-Fi or 2.4G options, and Wi-Fi users can control the drone through a phone app, or pilots can employ 2.4G using the controller to guide the drone and their phone as a screen. It has a 20-minute flight time and can travel distances of 400 meters. Features include GPS positioning, automatic takeoff and return to home, 360-degree photography and videography, on-screen destination selection and easy control, brushless motors, waypoint function, and orbiting function. In addition to its full range of drones and quadcopters, Hubson is developing a new drone line launching in June 2018. That promises to be an industry-changing product featuring its most advanced technology to date. Well, that's our program for this week. Airborne's AMA Drone Report is presented weekly in cooperation with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And in addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.